Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to talk about bullet points. I always tend to use bullet points in my spreads. I usually like to sprinkle them around. They're a good way to add like color and also function to your spread. So they're definitely something that I usually put on my planner spreads or sometimes I'll add them in after if I think that I need a bullet point. So if you get like any of JoJo's books, usually in a lot of sticker books, they have a version of a bullet point. If it's a functional kind of book, they'll have some type of bullet point sticker that you could take. The most common one would be just a regular circle dot type of bullet point. These are really, really nice. Um, in the past, I used to put them like more on the date, which you can do. And then the great thing about this is like on the checklist, you're kind of, you know, if you put this down, you have all of these um, little dots that you can use for whatever you're, you're planning, but um, they're spaced out a certain amount and maybe you don't need that many or maybe, um, yeah, sometimes I usually don't need that many dots to check off. So that's why I like using the bullet points because I have a little bit more control over how many places I have to write or like the space I need to write, which is nice. And then you have a little place to check off. So usually I put them just kind of like, I, I'll usually add like two into a day. I mean, you could fit a little bit more if you wanted to have a few more places to write in a box. Maybe you have like a busier day. You can definitely fit three. I mean, you can even get four in here if you wanted to. Um, so you have, again, more control over how many, how much space you have to write and um, how many things you have to check off for that section. Uh, I've been recently uh, putting the bullet points on this line because it doesn't take up as much space. And then I'm able to, like, maybe I'll write something here or maybe I'll use it for this day. Have, like, I can choose. And I, and I like that it's not taking up as much space in the day. So, I yeah, see how this one kind of takes up a good chunk of this box. And these boxes are already so small. So I've really been liking putting them on the line. It also helps because then they're a little bit more straight. Like, I always put these down and they're a little bit, like, not lining up. But this line acts like a guide. So that's really nice. So I really like putting them on the line now. That's been one of my new things. I learned that little trick from Katie from the planner, the planner channel. Uh, she, I've always seen her do it that way. And I think it's a really good trick to, to use them that way. So yeah, those are the ways that I usually put them on this spread. Uh, and obviously the circle ones, those are like the most popular ones, but there are other types of stickers that I have used as bullet points that aren't necessarily like a circle. So here in this Cozy Critter sticker book, there's these little like page flags. I like to use these as bullet points as well. So um, let me just take one of these. You can use them this way. And then you can write, just, you know, write your plans right there and then check it off on there. I sometimes like to, I don't know why, but I sometimes like to have it going this way. Again, it's all about preference of how you like to put down your stickers, but I like putting it down this way too, because then I can, I don't know, I just like the way it looks better. And then I could have like two that way as well. But either way, you know, you can use them as a bullet point somewhere that you can check off, which is nice. Um, so I like to use those as a bullet point. For me, I like to also stick to ones that are paper. So in this book, there are some gold foiled ones. I'm trying to find them. So I just saw them in here. Okay, so these right here, which are nice. I actually like these because they're really small. So they don't take up as much space. Um, so there, those. this is another type of bullet point that you can use. The only problem with this one, and this is why I don't use these as much, is they are foiled. So when you write on them, I mean, it'll it'll write on it, but it's not the best. It's not like when you check off on here, like you have, you know, a good check mark here. It's the 
the foil, the pen doesn't really work very well on the foil. So it's not the best to check off on. And I feel like, does it rub off? I don't know. It, it stays a little bit wet on after you've marked it. So yeah, not my favorite. If you use these foiled ones, definitely recommend using more of a permanent kind of marker on it. Uh, which I don't usually use in my planner. I like to just use regular pens. So I try to avoid these, but I do like the size of them. Sometimes I will put them on if I don't have anything else to use, but usually I prefer more of the paper ones because they're just easier to mark off. This one has a little bit of foil on this side, but you know, you're kind of marking off the sticker part and not the foiled part. So that kind of works. Sorry, my pen, this pen is about to be done. So it's not working very well. Another thing I like to use like as a bullet point is like arrow stickers. So I have these arrows and just kind of doing the same thing, just putting it here and then you can write in your plans. Ooh, I need to stop using this pen. Plan next week, like that. And then you can check it off once you're done. So um, using arrows, that's another way that you can like emphasize a certain thing, like call attention to it, and then a place where you can check off. Some bu books have more decorative type of bullet points. These are cool because they have like little stars in them. Um, so these would be fun to check off in your spread. So you can stick them here and then, you know, write in your whatever you wanted to do, and then check it off on the star. I like those little decorative ones. Those are super cute. Um, there's some like hexagon ones. Ooh, I wanted to go over these because there's like some functional ones that are cool to use. All right, so these were the ones that I wanted to talk about. I really like the ones with the exclamation point because if you have something happening that like you need more of an attention to, like I feel like exclamation point's a good way to mark that. And then you can write in whatever that is like the super important thing that you have to do or if you have something that you love you can do like a little heart that would be cute too so you can even use these to like when you look at it instantly it'll be you'll know like the what it is that you want to do for that one or like the importance of it um so these are really cool to use the ones that have like the little um items in them like i would use this yeah this is like super important um, something you loved or like your favorite thing I would do like for the star so you can like figure out whatever meaning it means for you but those are really cool to use um, to mark for the week and I really like like from this book again a more decorative one is to use like these little planner disc ones as a bullet point too those are perfect to like check off anything round or anything that um, I feel like is small enough that you can check off and still write in is a good place to use a bullet point. So yeah, there's lots of options. You sometimes can find some cute little um, hearts like on their own hearts, there's stars, there's hexagons. I have a book with hexagons. Um, I'll find that in a little bit. There's this one with a little, ch it's already got a little checklist on it, which is really cute. Um, so here, these are really pretty. I like how little they are. And, and then when you're ready to check it off, even though there's a check mark there, you can still check it off yourself there. So those are really cool. I feel like each book has its own variety of, that fits like the theme of the, um, sticker book. Like these are really cute. The only problem with these is they are the clear ones. So I still would use them because I think they're pretty if I was using this book. I wouldn't put them on the line though because then you get the line through it unless you color it out. But they're small enough where you can put it there and then it's not, it's not too, um, taking up too much room. So you can write in your Starbucks run and then see. It's hard to check them off. Not the best to check off, but if you have the right pen, um, which, let's see, which pen will work on it. Maybe if you have like a Sharpie or a Sarasa, oh geez. No, there was one pen I had, I have actually don't have it here with me, um, but I have this tool. The only thing is it's, it's not gonna be dry. Yeah, 
So definitely make sure you get a permanent pen if you're gonna check these off. Or you could just check off like kind of on the side if you want to, just depending on how you want to use them. But just be aware of those clear ones because they've been putting in a few of those. And then I also have um, washi ones, which are really cool. So this is like a whole roll of washi. I got this out of a sub box. Um, so I'm not sure where else to get it from, but I'm sure you could, you know, type in washi dots and they'll pop up. But these are cool too. They're kind of big, but again, you can always color this in like that and then put it down if you really don't want to see the line like that and then you can write in your whatever you need to do trash take out the trash and then check it out okay these don't these don't work very well on there either okay so you would have to use probably a marker the marker works better on it on the washi versus this one um yeah, it's not as wet. It still is a little bit, but if you want to check off your, your dots or your bullet points, I would recommend going with paper, but these are really pretty. So, you know, you just have to do things a little bit different depending on the type of bullet point you have, like the paper qual type that you're going to be using, but there's lots of options. There's tons of options. I love the variety of color. I like just adding them, kind of sprinkling them around my spreads. Um, let's see, let's go over one of my spreads that I have. Yeah, I usually just put like a couple here or there in spreads. Um, a couple here, a couple there. Sometimes if a space looks like too empty, then I will stick in a bullet point if I need it. Um, but yeah, love bullet points, like using them. And I hope I was able to give you some ideas, some different ideas on how how to use, I mean, I feel like they're pretty basic though, um, but they're good to use. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next one.